Triad families found themselves surrounded by a disaster tonight. The damage spreads far and wide in Eden. This tree is just one of many spread across yards tonight. Emergency crews told us they're overwhelmed with calls for help. Thousands are in the dark right now. A powerful thunderstorm wreaked havoc on Eden. The county issued an alert tonight telling everyone in the city to stay inside. WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz has walked through many of the neighborhoods buried under debris tonight. Daniel, what does it look like out there? Hi, Denise, there is a lot of damage out here in Eden, and the worst part about it right now is it is completely dark through a lot of the city. We're along Bridge Street, about a block or so away from downtown Eden, and behind me, you can't see much, but behind me is the reason that the county and emergency managers sent out that emergency alert earlier this evening. This is a snapped power pole here, and power lines are draped across the road as well. This is a similar scene throughout the city. Multiple roads are closed. You can see the police department set across those cones there. So this is a similar scene. This is what's so dangerous here in the city of Eden. Those trees were also affecting folks on their property as well. Just a couple of blocks from where we're standing right now along South Hamilton Street. I spoke to folks there who tell me that they really endured this storm. A lot of wind in a very short period of time. Multiple trees falling in that area, including one falling on one of the homes in that area. Now, Billy Seidel says he and his family, they took shelter underneath the stairs inside their home. Joyce Parrish and her husband live in the home where the tree fell on it. They are all okay. And Mrs. Parrish says she's happy that her driveway was undamaged because the tree that fell was right beside her brand new driveway. Both shared their experiences of the storm that came through in a very short period of time. High wind and then a bunch of uh, hail was coming down and then uh, and then trees were coming down and everything was just blowing everywhere. It was actually, it was, it was pretty scary. You can see out of my kitchen that direction and it was pouring down on that side of the house. I was looking out this window, it wasn't doing anything and I said, John, look at this. And about that time we heard and our cat just literally jumped up in the air. It was the funniest thing. And John said, I think it's thunder. I said, no, I think that was a tree. So we came to the front, and there it was. Now, despite all the damage that I have seen so far this evening, which was just as the sun was setting, so I haven't been everywhere, a lot of it really looks like straight line wind damage and not tornado damage right now. The National Weather Service does not plan to come to Eden and survey that damage unless emergency manager Rodney Cates and EMD do plan to ask them to come up here. So, folks, heed those warnings and stay home tonight. That is what is best. We will be out here early tomorrow morning to help survey some of this damage. We'll bring you the latest right here on WFM News 2 and on air and online both. Guys, back to you tonight.